Good morning boys and girls. Welcome to the progressive astrology aspects. Some talking points today about beginners self-study aspects. If you're a beginner in Vedic astrology or astrology in general, I want you to pay some attention to some points. I made some six points here. I'll quickly go through them. These things are useful for you to know if for understanding self, the personality. Self as the personality, not self as the soul, although there are indications to that effect. Okay. First, we will study the ascendant. First point to look at for you will be the ascendant and I will compare it to the chart now. Now it's 4th of April 2022, 12.13 pm Indian Standard Time. This is the Western style Vedic astrology plot of the current time right now. This is how it looks like. Okay. The blue signs are all water, the red signs are all fire, the brown ones are earth and green ones are air signs and with the respective nakshatra shown in there, just so you know. Back to the talking points. So ascendant means where your sun shines and moon nakshatra is where your moon shines, the mind. So unless you do, the basis of this is unless you know who you are, why your personality is seen by yourself or others a certain way, where you are going or when you get there, if at all you get there, will not make any sense to you. So first, that's the principle of evolutionary astrology as I call it. The entire playlist of evolutionary astrology is all about. It's about first understanding you, who you are and where you are going and what, how your life transpires based on your personality. It's all based on personality. So number one, the first point, where is your ascendant as per Vedic astrology? Now we'll just take this current time as the reference point. Right now the ascendant is at 20 degrees of Gemini. So this and in Ardra Nakshatra, as you can see, it's almost about to go into Punarvasu. Okay, this is Punarvasu, that's Ardra. So this person's ascendant is at 20 degrees of Punarvasu. Okay, degrees, we are talking mainly of degrees and angles here as per Vedic astrology plot, but this is western style, so it looks circular here. So where is your ascendant? This person's ascendant is at 20 degrees. Okay, Zodiac sign and Nakshatra. Zodiac sign is Gemini. Uh, it's transcending beginning or ending of Punarvasu because 20 degrees of Punarvasu is just about to start Ardha Nakshatra right now. This is where this person's soul is shining. It's about to complete the energies of Punarvasu and go into Ardra. Okay. Moon is where your moon shines. Where is this person's moon right now? This person's moon, whoever is born right now, is moon is in Bharani Nakshatra. Alright. So this person's moon shines in Bharani Nakshatra and all the themes of it. If you don't know the themes of the different nakshatras, I have put it in my uh, evolutionary astrology series. You can have a look at it. Second point is what is the angle in degrees of your ascendant and moon. So ascendant is at 20 degrees, moon is at 25 degrees. Now some astrologers and astrology teachings, especially in Vedic astrology will go say that the more the degrees of angle of the moon is there, you got to consider that more. So in this case, whoever has been born right now in India has got this arrangement and they are at 25 degrees of moon is higher than the 20 degrees of ascendant, right? So back to the talking points. If some astrologers say if one or m one is more in angle than the other, we are talking about ascendant and moon. In this case, moon is more than the ascendant. So Bharani in moon as a personality trait will play out more in this case of this person rather than the ascendant. Now, why is it important for you to study your own chart and not just go by some astrologers? Say, because only you know your personality the best. Which one makes more sense to you? Whoever is born here in Moon in Bharani or ascendant in end stages of Punarvasu? They are different personalities. So you will know only these different personalities as you go through them. So remember, it's only a personality, an outer covering, a mask. It's not your soul. Okay. The angle denotes the progression of energies within a sign or nakshatra. So the higher the angle, in which case, which is the ascendant in Punarvasu, it's almost about to finish. You can see that angle over there is just about to finish Punarvasu. So this one, the angle denotes the progression of energies, means the soul has already covered this. 
it is pretty much seen all the punarvasu is just in a finishing stage of it the more angle is traversed only means there is more karmic energy which needs resolving to that sign or nakshatra so this person who is born now is finishing up punarvasu as he has goes into more of ardha nakshatra there is a hint here in the jaimini system atma karaka is a planet with the highest angle among all the other planets and points in the chart that becomes atma karaka it's not points jaimini system uses only solid planets not rahu and ketu or north or south node of the moon so check that okay atma karaka is one where the person is trying to resolve the shadow aspects of any planet every planet has a shadow aspect number 3 check the number of planets in dev manushya or rakshasa gana nakshatra so the ganas i have spoken of in the three groups of people on earth you can check that video if you want everything is there in progressive astrology uh, sorry evolutionary astrology series playlist if you want to go through that the more planets and points in dev ganas the person has come to take the higher evolutionary point the knowledge and wisdom point of the particular planet even if it's a malefic planet like rahu ketu or saturn or mars or sun or as such okay the person will be more satvic in nature the manushya gana will be more human and more in duality and the rakshasa gana will be more tamasic or dense physicality the more materialistic if you want to call it that the fourth point is the opposite sign or nakshatra will always be of similar nature Okay, let's take Rahu and Ketu here. This is Ketu over there. This is Rahu. Oh, sorry, this is Rahu over here. Ketu over here. Right, the south node of the moon. Now they'll always be 180 degrees apart, as you know, if you're an astrologer. The Ketu in Kritika, and sorry, Rahu in right now in Kritika, and Ketu is in Vishaka, as you can see. This is Vishaka nakshatra. So the opposite nakshatras will always have. the same type of gana or the group either this will be dev so this will be dev this will be rakshasa so this is also rakshasa gana and so on so forth if this is the revati then the opposite sign will be uh, sorry revati the opposite sign will be swati like that so it's all opposite signs are of the same type of group for it to remember that because the planets always look at the seventh aspect as the opposite sign number 5 uh if the moon is waning in the chart waning meaning it's going towards the new moon the person will be pessimistic in nature when waxing or going towards the full moon that's what's happening here the moon is going towards the full moon okay it will come right here and some other time some point when it is opposite the sun it will become a full moon so when it is going towards becoming the full moon it person is optimistic in nature what does this mean the principle here being the mind of the moon is either burning up going towards the energy of the sun or the soul the mind when it goes towards the sun or the soul it burns up because soul is just pure energy combust planets if you want to call it that moon itself gets combust every month and the mind is being illuminated more or going towards full moon uh, full moon the close the further away it is from the sun so as it is going towards be, becoming a full moon it is more optimistic because the mind is getting illuminated by the energy of the soul okay think of it that's as that simple principle the more the sixth aspect and the last one we will cover for now the more planets or point in the upper hemispheres i think i covered this in a brief video before houses number 7 to 12 this is houses number 7 8 9 through 12 will show more of the energy soul wants to be in the outer world this everything here is about the outer world as you can see any person born in india now here with this chart has a lot of energy and a lot of karma and a lot of work and energy spent in the outer world because most of the planets and points including some of the major outer ones like uh, uranus neptune pluto everything is in the upper half so they will be coming here or they have come here or being born to predominantly play out energies and 
work, hobbies, relationships, everything in the outer world. Other than Ketu, there is nothing in the lower half of, of anybody who is being born at this time. So, more planets are points in upper hemisphere will show more energy, soul wants to be showing off in the outer world, outer engagement through life and more of lower hemisphere will show more introverted nature. You can also call it not necessarily optimistic, I would say. Optimistic, pessimistic goes on the moon and the sun, waxing and waning, the point number five. But the activity and the karmas that will be performed by the individual in the world will be like that. 7 to 12 will be more in the outer world, 1 to 6 will be more in the inner world, bringing to the outer world. Of course, we have to remember that everything outer, a person is always working in both the realms. The individual soul always stands between the outer and the inner. But you will be working from within going to out. The outer planets on the top will show outer back to inner. So it's a self-reflective universe we live in anyway. So I wanted to keep this in mind well when evaluating personalities. Okay, Personality is very important for knowing who you are first so that you can work with yourself properly and that is what you will seriously empower you. This is very empowering for any individual to know. Even if you just stop at just knowing the personality and nothing more, that's good enough a starting point in my opinion. Okay. So take care, be safe, be awesome wherever you are and I will catch you, sorry there was my laptop shaking, in the next one. Be safe, be awesome.